No door for Sussex. Meghan boiling with rage as Queen forced her to return tiara after wedding. Meghan Markle was loaned her wedding tiara back in 2018, the same as most royal brides. However, because it was loaned to Meghan by the Queen, the Duchess of Sussex did not get to keep the diadem. Meghan 40 wore Queen Mary's bandeau tiara from Her Majesty's collection for her wedding back in 2018. As the name suggests, it had originally belonged to the Queen's grandmother, Queen Mary. Queen Mary had it made in 1932 out of a brooch she received as a gift from the County of Lincoln in 1893, when she married the future King George V. She left the tiara to Queen Elizabeth II in her will when Mary died in 1953. The tiara is formed as a flexible band of eleven sections, pierced with interlaced ovals and a pavé set with large and small brilliant diamonds. The center is set with a detachable brooch of ten brilliant diamonds. The tiara has often been seen with a sapphire in the center stone, but Meghan opted for a diamond, which was lent to her by the Queen. Meghan revealed how she came to choose the tiara in the audio recording for the Royal Wedding Outfits exhibition at Windsor Castle in 2019. She said, when it came to the tiara on the day I was very fortunate to be able to choose this very gorgeous Art Deco style bandeau tiara. Harry and I had gone to Buckingham Palace to meet with Her Majesty the Queen to select one of the options that were there, which was an incredibly surreal day, as you can imagine. That was the one that I think as we tried them on stood out, I think it was just perfect because it was so clean and simple. And I think also at that point an extension to what Claire and I had been trying to do with the dress, which was have something that could be so incredibly timeless but still feel modern. However, because the tiara was on loan, it was not an option for Meghan to keep the tiara. This is the case for many royals, for instance, Princess Anne and Princess Beatrice who both wore the Queen's wedding tiara at their nuptials. The Queen Mary fringe tiara, as it is known, was presumably returned to the monarch after each royal wedding. But one royal who did get to keep their wedding tiara was Sarah Ferguson. The Duchess of York accessorized her ivory silk wedding gown by Lindkirk Eric in 1986 with the York tiara. This was a floral-shaped diamond scroll headpiece designed by Garrard. It was believed to be a present from her in-laws, the Queen and the late Prince Philip. This explains why Fergie was allowed to keep her wedding tiara and re-wear it, as it was a gift, not a loan. Harry and his wife Meghan have visited Queen Elizabeth II at Windsor Castle, on their first joint visit to the UK since they gave up formal royal roles and moved to the US more than two years ago. The couple's office says they visited the 95-year-old Queen, Harry's grandmother, on Thursday, on their way to the Netherlands to attend the Invictus Games. Harry is a founder and patron of the International Sports Competition for Wounded Military Veterans. Since then Harry has made solo trips to the UK to attend the funeral of his grandfather, Prince Philip, in April 2021 and to unveil a statue of his late mother Princess Diana last July. The couple, also known as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, lost their taxpayer-funded police guard when they walked away and Harry is suing the British government for refusing to let him pay for his own police security on his visits to the UK his lawyers say Harry wants to bring his children, Archie, who is almost three, and ten-month-old Lilibet, to visit his home country but that it is too risky without police protection, but that it